on the social media side, you mentioned something in regards to recruiting and things of that nature, yeah. talking about the, the college coaches and what they're looking at. Mm -hmm. Can you touch more about the, the social media side for those travel ball dads that, yeah. that may not be uh, as aware as you are? Yeah, so social media is huge. Um, it's a big, it's very prevalent in today's world. Um, it's a great tool for people to express themselves. Um, I think it's great in all that in a positive way if it's used the right way. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to recruiting, coaches are definitely checking those Twitter handles out. They're looking at what you post on Instagram. Um, like I said, it's important for kids to uh, be themselves and show their personalities, but at the same time, rein it back a little bit. Um, Twitter doesn't need to know everything that you're doing. <laughs> um, if you use it in a positive way um, and you keep it fun and you keep it exciting, that's good to go. Coaches love a person with personality, right? They love a kid that has passion and personality and can show it. Um, at the same time, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchatting can get you in a lot of trouble. Um, coaches have pulled scholarships before based on the things that they've seen on social networks that they just didn't align with their, their goals as a program. Um, so be aware that people are always watching you. Once you type it, it's out there forever. Someone can screen grab it and it's there forever whether you delete it or not. So it's just one of those things to keep in mind. That's, that's phenomenal. And uh, for dads that are going through that process, uh, social media is what it is. So to hear from someone that has lived it uh, firsthand is, is pretty, uh, pretty valuable in my opinion.